Hello, Curtis Chambers here, and today I'd like to talk about three things you can do to work towards a more enjoyable and wonderful retirement. There was recently an article that appeared in USA Today called 10 Retirees Share Their Retirement Regrets. And these regrets included the usual suspects such as not having a financial plan, not having a purpose in retirement, and not planning for inflation. So today I'd like to take a look at how to address these issues and since 10 is a lot I thought I would share just three fairly simple suggestions to prepare towards a better retirement. So first what can you do if you're a pre-retiree that is somebody who's in the process of planning for your retirement and saving for your retirement. Well, the first thing is a very simple rule of thumb that we would recommend in financial planning, which is have a 10% deferral rate. In other words, save 10%. If you have a 401k, you want to be saving 10% in that 401k. However, when I sit down with 401k participants and other people, I often find they're not saving 10%. More often, not always, but often, they're saving more like 3%. And one reason is because in a 401k, the employer match is usually 3%. So in order to get the employer match, we'll find participants saving 3%. But of course, the purpose is to build a wonderful retirement, not just to get the employer match. And that's going to mean a deferral rate closer to 10% irrespective of that 3% match. The problem becomes, how do we get to that 10%? Because most of us are on what's called, what I call, a savings budget, meaning only so much money can be saved. There's only so much money in the budget to go into long-term savings. And so it's not realistic to go from 3% all of a sudden to 10%. So a simple solution is to just increase by 1%. If you're currently at 3%, increase your deferral by 1%. Almost everybody can afford that 1% increase. And then go onto your calendar and make a note. And in one year, increase at 1% again and continue that process until you're at the 10% deferral. Odds are There'll be raises each year, hopefully, and increases in salary that will more than cover that 1% increase. Also, many 401ks have an automatic increase option now. And if you have that option in your 401k, you have to elect it. So be sure to elect it, and now the plan will put it on autopilot and increase you automatically 1% a year until you hit that 10% rate. Zig Ziglar, someone who I followed when I was younger, one said that the harder you are on yourself, the easier life will be on you. But I would like to amend that just a little bit for the purpose of financial planning and say that the more disciplined and conscientious you are in saving in your 401k or other qualified plan, the more wonderful you'll be in working towards a great retirement. Next, I would like to look at those people who are very close to retirement and getting ready to retire. And here my suggestion is, is to have a retire calc completed. What is a retire calc? It is a limited financial plan that focuses on the expenses they will be in retirement and then the different income sources, such as social security, pensions, which are becoming more rare, sadly, uh, deferred annuities with guaranteed withdrawal riders, but guaranteed sources of income against expenses. And then these programs run a statistical analysis, many of them using something called Monte Carlo analysis, that will give a percentage of certainty that the retirement plan will be successful. And what we really want to shoot for is a percentage of certainty of 95% or above. But it's very interesting because I find that when people do run a retire calc, they're often very surprised. They may be surprised how well prepared they are for retirement. I see that a lot, but I also see people who may be surprised that they're not as prepared as they thought they were, or they just hadn't really thought it out. But by working just a few more years in some cases, we run that 
then everything looks much better. So it's really essential to figure out when to retire in advance because once someone retires, it's difficult after being retired for three or four years to come out and say, well, I'm going to get back in to this, into the work game. So run a retire calc. Now, retire calcs are available on the internet. Uh, many financial advisors offer retire calcs. Almost all financial planners offer retire calcs. And we also do retire calcs here. So don't miss this important step of retirement planning. It can make all the difference. The third recommendation I have is for people who are retired. So one of the things that was mentioned in the regrets is not having a purpose. But most people who are retiring have a purpose. They have things they've always wanted to do during their life, but often that they were too busy working and other things to do. But what we find is that even being retired with all the years ahead and financial resources, so often people don't do these things. And so one concept that's become popular in the financial planning world, and I'm a little so-so on it, but it's the idea of three phases of retirement. And the first phase is alluded to as the go-go years. The second is the slow-go years. And the third is the no-go years. And the idea is that during those early years, we can do all the things maybe that we want to do. But then during the middle years, people are slowing down a little bit. And in the later years, not doing much at all. And so by dividing into three phases, we can really prioritize that first phase. And what I like to say is, focus on the first five years in retirement. And this will only take a few minutes, but if you're retired or in the process of retiring, get out a sheet of paper and make a quick plan. Write down two or three things you've always wanted to do, and then make a commitment that when you're retired, early in those first five years, you're going to do at least a couple of those things. For example, in my own life, I'm not retired, I'm working, and uh, have children that are still teenagers. But when they were younger, there were many summers where I would talk with my wife and say, you know, it'd be great to take a vacation this summer, but we're really just too busy. It's not a good time. But fortunately, we still knew we wanted to do that, and so we prioritized those vacations. And in looking back, those times have been very, very valuable, but we never would have done it if we hadn't prioritized it. Well, what I find is retirement is the same way, but there's not necessarily the pressure to prioritize it. And so people who have been very disciplined and conscientious in saving for retirement and planning for retirement may not be as much so in getting out and doing those things. So be sure to make that list and go out and do some of those things early in those first five years. If you're already past those five years, then as much as possible, do them now. So these are three ideas for having a wonderful retirement so you won't have some of these retirement regrets. I know you won't. And if you've got questions, then please call us at 727-216-6280 or contact us online at chambersfinancialgroup.com.